everybody. I've been playing trombone for a long time and I've never had to tear a rotor apart before. But it got stuck. Nice warm weather probably. So I figured out the problem. It's right in here. Both fully functional. There you go. Turns in all directions. Brand new. Boom, there it is. So, in order to get stuck, coil right here. Now, as for putting the trombone rotor back together, line up the holes on the rotor. Little holes right in here. Line those up with the holes in the rotor. Alright, these holes are very tiny, and so are the screws. They don't want to go in very easily. So what you want to do is hold the metal piece down against the rotor as you screw the first screw into the hole and then the second. Is it really small and it's going to want to move because it's greasy? And also, uh, press kind of hard. So be careful because, of course, the screwdriver might slip off. You don't want to go in very easily, like I said. It's best to do this like you're changing a car tire. You don't tighten either screw until both screws are in. Then go back and tighten each one down, like just like you were changing a car tire. The screw that holds the trigger down, mine is on a rotational ball. It's going to go back into the rear or top. Like that. You just not, of course, want to go in very easily. That's where it fastens down into, right there. It's best to, um, Hold this piece back against the tuning slides and start screwing the screw down in from the rotational ball into the rotator by hand and then finishing with a screwdriver because it's not only a very small hole, it's also very greasy and it's moving so it's not going to stay where it's supposed to. Of course, not using the right stuff, which is very bad. But if you're very careful, Once you get it started, you can probably let it go. Finally, after you make sure that screw is in tight, and all other screws are in tight. Of course, you don't probably want to tighten them too hard. Just make sure they're in 
very snuggly. The big screw goes in. We're almost done. Right on top. There it is. The screws are in tight and it's back together. It's a happy working trigger. Once again.